Nether Client released a new feature where you can make your own custom Minecraft server. The way to do this is you hit this plus down here and then you go into the uh, the, the template, either vanilla, paper, or fabric. It only shows what we'll APT.2. However, you can make a custom version where you can actually input any Java version. 17 would be for 1.18.2, 8 would be for any other version except for 1.17. And then you also you can put in the slots, 100, you can have a lot of RAM. And then you have your launcher arguments, which that's not really that important. You can add in your RAM arguments here after this you name your server i'm making it an event server so i'll name it event server events and then also you have to make sure that it isn't taken and then there you go if you're doing a custom server like i'm doing it right now you need to go into the folder in the drop down and drop in the server jar type that you want a good place to look for mc versions is mcversions.net you put the server jar in here and make sure that it is named as just server jar and now you can go back to here and start the server and what should happen is it should run the server and as soon as it runs the server let me go on minecraft and actually play on it copy the ip from here you can also connect it to your local host for a faster connection so that's a you know big side note i will attempt to connect to the local host you need to change the event mc to local host so um there's that but I don't know exactly for sure. All right, I'm in my little Minecraft thing. I put in the IP there, and then immediately you can see that it's up and running, and I can join the server. And check this out, I'm on the server right now. And we can join, um, as a matter of fact. But overall, it's just an amazing, lovely little thing that uh, Feather Client really made. I guess this is what gives Feather Client an edge over some clients because this is obviously something that's like really, really important to them. And so, you know, they're, they're trying to like make sure that people actually use their clients more often. They're not giving up being the whole best client thing, I'm assuming. Props to them. This is actually running pretty good. It's the easiest one. It's the easiest server that's free for a setup. Arguably, it's giving play.gg a run for its money because play.gg definitely does have a few mistakes here and there if the feather clan has mistakes here and there i'll let you guys know in the future but obviously so far it's running pretty freaking good um so overall thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video take care and good